Yeah, we improvising here. <laughs> we are improvising. My um lasagna noodles were old. So we're using wheat spaghetti noodles. These are all cheer. Gorilla whole grain. I told Lonnie to do it with her fingers because they're not um, lasagna noodles, so they're gonna probably be moving and stuff. We're gonna put more ricotta cheese and try to spread this as evenly as possible. It don't matter how it look, all the ingredients in there, we already did one layer. That's the best we can get it. I know these noodles better cook. I've never done it like this before, but I'm always trying something. So now we're gonna get the um, prego. Oh yeah, it's right here. We already put most of it on the sauce and we have another jar as well. Just spray it, pour it all over. We got another jar if you run out. We can't put no water in this and shake it up. But I'm not. <laughs> okay, get the other jar. That's in the cabinet over there. That's the stove. They're gonna be like, what is it? Is it a pizza? Oh yeah, you gotta hit the bottom with your hand. The bottom of the jar. Good way to take some anger and stress out. Uh-oh, you opened it, girl. Okay. Just pour it somewhere where you're covering like all the little white. Slow down, slow down. That might be enough to spray it here. Get the spoon and spray it. Pour a little bit on the edges down there. shredded cheese after you spread this out. You should have bought me two things of ricotta cheese. And I don't even get the great value, so hopefully this tastes the same. I tell y'all, I don't have nothing against great value, but certain things I cannot eat great value, like ketchup. I have to have Heinz ketchup. I have to have Hellman's mayo. But we'll see how this ricotta tastes. Okay, Lonnie, you spread it pretty good. Um, open another thing of shredded cheese, that sharp cheddar. Uh-uh, don't put that spoon on the counter. All right back here in the pan with the rest of the ground beef. Spread it evenly. There you go. If they got holes, we can go back and fill it in. We got gaps somewhere. I don't think we do another layer of noodles because we ain't got enough meat. So, well, we got to. We got to put noodles on the top, just like we were doing lasagna. So, yeah. So, what's up under here? This is noodles up under here. So, we're going to do meat now. And then another layer of noodles. Then, I guess, whatever we got left, honey. We got a little ricotta cheese. So, this is going to be interesting. Oh, honey. We really scraping over here. I don't never buy no little small half an ounce of ground beef. He bought a tiny one. And then we had a half of one left, I guess, from when I made the chili. No, because I used all the ground beef with the chili. I don't know what else we made. But um, I normally buy, like, huge ones because they got a big family. So it's all spaced out, but we're going to taste it some kind of way. I can't really spread the meat too much. I tried to chop it up as much as I could, too, so it wasn't big clumps. What do we do now, Lonnie? Oh, my God. Cause I would have lasagna noodles on the top, so I guess we just put the spaghetti noodles. We can put cheese on there. Well, it already it's already cheese under the meat. We got to do another layer of noodles. We got to pretend like they're lasagna noodles. That's what's throwing me off. Like they're not lasagna noodles because I normally rub the ricotta cheese on the lasagna noodles, and so yeah, we're doing everything kind of different. We did kind of rub the ricotta cheese on the noodles though. So here, take the rest of these out. over there because little pieces can make fall out see and layer them neat as possible all the way across you're gonna have to open another box that's all right okay open another box and i hope 
hold the box. Stand up. Sit right if they're all crazy. Falling all crazy. <clears throat> Spread them on out. Don't have them too thick on the top because I don't know how this is going to be. If it's going to be super crunchy or what. Okay, remember how I showed you how to do the edges? How to measure it? Okay, here, just get a little bit, not like a lot. Like a little bit. That's a little too much, but it's all right. So you're gonna measure it and break off the excess. Yep, and spread it on that. That's how I do with the lasagna too. A little bit too much, though. <laughs> Crunchy, y'all gonna eat this spazanya. Is that the name for it? Spazanya? Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, okay. Um, no, we don't put no cheese on the top, do we? Do I, what do I put on the top layer? Is it cheese? Yeah, my bad. So we ain't got no more ricotta, so we don't have a choice. Do I put sauce? I'm trying to see how I do the regular lasagna. Why can't I think of this? Huh? I know, it's too full. Um, but it can't be, yeah. Pour the rest of that sauce on top of these noodles first. <clears throat> Just spread it out as much as you can. Well, I need to save that last little bit. Don't pour it. You're getting close to pouring. You want me to do it? Yes. I should punch you in your face. You got a scraping and the whole other one is right here. She laughing. And we sitting here got polka dots. <laughs> Dalmatians and ish on our noodles. I just want to say language. I wasn't going to curse. That's what you would have said, Sully? Yeah. Amani is over here. Experimenting too. Spread it. Y'all hear Sarai whining because she's tapping on Lonnie leg and Lonnie not answering her. She whining because you're bad singing. Uh, really? I'm hurting her ears. <laughs> Get the rest of the shredded cheese. Powerpuff girl. Powerpuff. Your hair. Okay, come on. We got my oven preheating. We're going to need that oven on 750. Do it go up to 750? I don't know. You know I don't come in this room much. Mmm, I like cheese, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> what is trouble emailing me yeah they blocked it oh she probably talking about my video they blocked okay get them edges real good i might throw some pepper on here like i do my mac and cheese since we experiment anyway i'm gonna be so mad if we wasted all this food just make sure no cheese is hanging off the edge so it ain't like burnt cheese everywhere okay open the oven noodle is just not doing right don't want to stay where it's supposed to go where is it supposed to go I'll just stick it down and out like that this only like 10 minutes later the cheese cooking too fast Woo! we gonna have some cajun cheese spazania i'm glad you said we messed it up <laughs> Lonnie just pulled one of the noodles out. I got to cut it, y'all. I got to see. Maybe the ones on the inside is not crunchy. I turned it down so the cheese won't burn. Give me a plate. <laughs> I'm not getting the noodles on the edge. I am not. Please let this be salvageable. 
I had to um, pause, get off short mama live real quick to come do this. I know it's gonna break, but no, give me the spoon instead, actually. And then drop stuff all in that oven. See, they don't look hard up underneath, so we might have did okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Let me taste it. Dang, I just dropped more stuff in the oven. We gotta clean that off for it, Brian. But look at the noodles down there. Brian, uh, you sure you don't wanna go first? Yeah, I'm sure. You sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just threw her a cup. That's what she did when she's done. Let's see how this lasagna is. They cooked. Oh my god! Let me face it. I just turned the oven off and it cook a little bit longer, but they're not crunchy like the one she just grabbed off the top. That one was crunchy because. Um, it wasn't under any sauce or anything else. It needs to cook a little bit more. But I won't do this again, like on purpose. I did it because I had to. I had already cooked my meat and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we was just trying it out. Oh, you getting more now? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So the noodles on the bottom are done. It's the ones on the top that are still kind of hard but not crunchy. That was good. It tastes like lasagna too. It do? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So we're gonna keep it in there for a little bit longer. I had to cut it and see what was going on, but that top ain't it. That ain't it. Top gotta go. Oh, I had a little crunchy piece, you hear? Look. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I flipped it over. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you can tell which ones are crunchy and which ones aren't. See, that one isn't right there. It's like a regular spaghetti noodle. The ones that are still looking like super straight, those on top are kind of burnt from the heat. Because it's not made to make lasagna, but I'm thinking it should work because lasagna noodles are still hard and raw. And you don't boil those before you put them in the oven, you know. What you want more? You can have it. So, tell us how we did, y'all, with our spazania. We ain't gonna um wait for it to get done and close this video. We're gonna close it now, but I'll put in the comment section if it cooked all the way or not. If I don't say anything, I'll just say this, like, that means everything was okay. If it didn't turn out okay, then I'll put something in the comment section.